if we take a coral the size of a golf ball and just wait till it gets big enough to cut in two, it takes about three years. If we cut it into 20 to 100 micro fragments, each piece is stimulated to grow back to that golf ball size in months instead of years. I thought I killed this test tube coral and it didn't die. It actually started growing at a miraculous rate. I, as a scientist, took a scalpel and cut it into pieces again and found out that the smaller you cut the pieces, the faster the coral grows. This mistake actually became a game changer for corals. We utilize the existing genetic strains that have survived the last 30 years of high temperatures. So we're making more of the corals that are naturally resistant or resilient to today's conditions. We're just helping mother nature make more of them. Even though coral reefs are less than 1% of the bottom of the ocean, they're responsible for 25 to 40% of the world's fisheries. If the coral reefs uh, collapse in our oceans, um, we have to worry that it is a start of a collapse of something that the world has never seen before. I hope to plant a million corals in just the next few years. Uh, but if we can get uh, dozens of places to do the same thing, and eventually hundreds of places that are restoring the underwater forest, it will be successful.